the spirit of Etro is mainly about traveling, about color, about beautiful prints, about beautiful textiles, and about beautiful craftsmanship. Of course, uh, um, the spirit has not changed over the years, but of course, the, the, all these uh, outfits have evolved. Etro fashion has evolved since uh, the beginning, uh, but the spirit is still there. I was showing this, um, this collection, this fashion show. The, the thing was that uh, my aim was to create like a, a timeless collection. So it, was really a, it is a collection that really goes to the roots, to, to the heritage of the brand. It's about a travel, about a, a trip that really uh, follows through on the Silk Road, on the Trans-Siberian to Samarkand and really is a collection about travel, about uh, culture, heritage, uh, craftsmanship, about warmth and about the paisley. For menswear, the, the thing that struck us all together today with, with our father is seeing the retrospective. That is really something that hasn't been shown anywhere else in the world. It's something uh, brightly new, even if it's our history. To see all the pieces together was like uh, something hitting your heart, something that we said, did we really do all this? Hence, uh, we are very proud. I can say that in the last 30, 20 years, we actually did very, very, a lot of change when we Paisley. And the fact that it is so decorative, you can really uh, work a lot with it. You can really mix it with florals, with polka dots, with stripes. Well, the Paisley is really a timeless, uh, a timeless uh, design, which really can fit any, any moment of, uh, of fashion. I think it really adapts really well to, to most of, of uh, fashion trends. You can have a romantic trend and you can mix it up with flowers. You can have really something contemporary and you can start breaking it up and really have it like a graphic idea of a paisley. So really, I think the paisley is like a zelig. It's really something that can be changed uh, as, as much as you want and it can still result a timeless uh, example of, of decoration. And I also like because um, there is something really artsy and um, coolness about the face. If you think in the movement of the 60s and 70s, a lot of rockers and uh, artists were wearing the face. You think of David Bowie, think of uh, Mick Jagger. So it's still, I think, today very modern. And at the same time, it's always nice to deal with it and make it uh, an evolution in a way.